Welcome back and in this segment we will be talking about an important cultural event. It's uh, the Indian Film Festival which will kick off on the 27th of October which is today and actually it uh, has two dates. We have from the 27th of October till the 2nd of November here in Cairo and then after uh, that uh, it will be held also in Alexandria from the 5th up to uh, the 11th of uh, November and it's very festive, it has a variety of Indian films with some of our most beloved stars like Shahrukh Khan, Amitabh Bachchan and many others and uh, I'm happy to have with me in the studio His Excellency the Indian Ambassador to Egypt, His Excellency Ambassador Sanji Patacharya to shed more light and to give us, uh, to tell us more about uh, that important film festival, also to tell us more about uh, the uh, current and most uh, important events taking place uh, uh, here uh, and being organized by the, the Indian Embassy and, uh, of course, the Indian Cultural Center, the Mulana Azad Cultural Center. Good morning, Mr. Ambassador. Good morning to you. Good morning, sir. Well, definitely, uh, the Maulana Azad Center is very, very active in Egypt, and every now and then we have many different um, interesting activities taking place. So let's talk more about this film festival. Thank you. Um, the film festival is something that we wanted to bring to Egypt because uh, I have seen the love that people of Egypt have for Indian films, uh, but unfortunately, they watch it only on TV, on the small screen. And so there has been a very conscious attempt to try and bring it to the big screen because I think films should be seen on the big screen. And you would recall that a few weeks back, in fact four weeks back, uh, we had uh, the release of uh, a Shah Rukh Khan movie, uh, Jab Harry Met Sejal, which is a takeoff on When Harry Met Sally. Um, and it's been running for four weeks continuously. It had started in 13 different movies and it's now still going on after four weeks in six different theatres. So uh, to build up on that, we thought we would try and showcase uh, some of the Indian movies that mm. the people of Egypt are familiar with and some of the new ones. Mm. So what we did was we selected uh, seven movies. Three of them are old classics, uh, movies that most of your parents would know about. Uh, things like uh, Sangam and Mother India, and Mera Nam Joker, uh, which almost every elderly Egyptian has seen. So we wanted to revive that tradition. And with that, we brought four other uh, relatively contemporary movies, uh, including movies by Amitabh Bachchan and Shah Rukh, and, and also by another star called Ajay Devgan. And it also has a variety of, uh, in the leading uh, female stars, so it, it's a good mix of uh, current Bollywood and classic Bollywood. Now for, for the film itself, the festival, will, will there be symposiums and seminars about some of the films on the sidelines of the film festival, Your Excellency? Well, you know, most Indian movies are very long. Mm -hmm. uh, and since we are doing this as a festival of just some of the classics and the contemporary ones, we're just doing the screening. Yes. Uh, as you probably know, uh, we have in Makik, uh, our culture center, mm -hmm. a film club. Mm -hmm. And twice every month, we have uh, a screening of an Indian film. Not all of them are in Hindi, uh, mm -hmm. from Bollywood, mm -hmm. but also from other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, as you know, we produce about a thousand films in yes. Bollywood, and we produce another thousand in the other rest mm -hmm. of India. Yes. Uh, so we do that, uh, and every fortnight when we have these screenings, we actually have a discussion panel mm -hmm. with, the, uh, with the movie. Uh, but this one, uh, which is going to be at the um, Hanagar Cinema starting tonight, and then in Alexandria, is just the movie. So we want people to just go and enjoy watching a movie, as if they were it's going to. It's still going to be great. I think it because should be fantastic. Because we love the Indian yeah. We are looking forward to uh, the inaugural today. Uh, we are starting with uh, a beautiful film called Dev Das. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly, the story was written by Rabindranath Tagore, uh, and it was then converted into a film. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what we will see in this is uh, an amazing spectacle of traditional Bengali life. Uh, that's mm -hmm. where I come from. Yes. And it's got Shah Rukh and uh, Aishwarya and um, Rani Mukherjee. So three very, very powerful actors. 
And we are very delighted that we are collaborating with the Ministry of Culture in this entire exhibition. So the Cultural Development uh, mm -hmm. Fund is actually uh, a co-host for us for this event. And uh, this evening's event will have uh, Rania uh, Farid Shauki coming mm -hmm. as our chief guest. Mm -hmm. uh, she is a remarkable actress herself. And of course, her father is, uh, is a legend in Egyptian cinema. Yes. Well, of course, when it comes to drama in general and arts, as you mentioned, it is one of the best tools to bring nations together. And I think if you want to know anything about um, a lifestyle or culture of any country, just by watching some of its movies, I, th I think this will give you a general idea. I don't know how far you agree with me. I agree. <laughs> uh, I think that's so true because uh, uh, the movies uh, depict the social scenario. It talks about love and romance. It talks about, you know, uh, the mysteries. Uh, and it gives you an opportunity to visit the country. Mm -hmm. What we have found is that in addition to the uh, Indian cinema, yes. uh, we are having a growing presence of uh, Indian um, uh, TV serials coming mm -hmm. into Egypt, as they are in many other parts of the world. And we have taken a very uh, conscious decision uh, to encourage these uh, and uh, to have them dubbed appropriately. Uh, earlier, the dubbing was being done outside Egypt. So for all the TV serials, we are now the dubbing inside uh, Egypt itself. Yes. And we have recently uh, um, concluded an arrangement with uh, the state TV uh, for uh, the loan of uh, six of our serials which will soon be shown on, on Egyptian national TV uh, so that more people have the opportunity to share a bit of India with them. Yes. Now, actually, Your Excellency, uh, the Indian Embassy has always uh, a lot of activities to offer, and especially on the cultural side through the Mulana Azad Cultural Center. So what's new on the agenda, Your Excellency? Well, uh, we also have started, uh, just began, uh, the Glimpses of India painting competition. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, this is an annual feature. Uh, we've been doing it for 23 years now. And uh, this year, uh, last year, as you know, we went out of Cairo to six different cities outside. Yes. Uh, this year, it's going to be Cairo. Uh, we've done it in Cairo on the 24th and 25th. We worked with the Ministry of Education in this. Uh, we had an overwhelming response in Cairo. Uh, there were over 7,000 school children who took, took part. Uh, we had seven different centers across the two days. Yes. Uh, and we were very, very excited because the numbers are much more than last year. But what we've done this year in addition to Cairo is that we're going out to 14 different cities in, uh, in, in Egypt. So we are going from uh, Aswan uh, down south to um, uh, the New Valley, Minya, Benisweth, Port Said, Alexandria, Red Sea, Mansoura, Munafaya, Sharkia, Fayum, Ismailia, Kalubeya, and even as far as Marsa Matru. Yeah. Uh, and these 14 cities will be doing it on the 30th. Uh, we've been in touch with all these uh, cities and everything is set up. Uh, my colleagues from the embassy will be going across to conduct uh, this particular event. Uh, and I think when we get together with the children, it brings a certain new sense of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, uh, when I went around, as you know, we have the painting competition at India House itself. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, at India House and then at uh, the Al-Azhar Park, we saw a remarkable spectacles of innovative designs, new images coming up. Uh, it was a, a tremendous experience of what the children see India as, and how they want to see this relationship go forward. So talking about the schools, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. for example, and is it taking place in the schools, different schools, or you have other events uh, within the framework of the same event, for example, as you mentioned in the Indian house, when it comes to painting? Tell us more about the schools uh, themselves. And I know that you are talking about private and public schools, right? Yes. So... Um, uh, we have another uh, contact point with the schools. Uh, what we do is um, uh, twice a month again, uh, uh, we, have, we invite uh, the primary school children uh, to come and visit us at Mackie. And they spend an entire morning in Mackie. 
Uh, what we do is we show them a small, a short film on mm -hmm. India. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, a PowerPoint presentation in which we showcase some of uh, the highlights, you know, because we are a very diverse country. Uh, and in this diversity, there is a certain unique uh, unity that comes about. So we uh, show them about, uh, you know, the people of India, the religions, the, the flowers, the wildlife, the tourist scenes. And then we uh, run through with them a short course on yoga. So they practice some yoga. Mm -hmm. uh, they learn a little bit of Hindi. They also learn how to write their names uh, in, in Hindi. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we then do, uh, they play a short game, an Indian game called Ko. Mm -hmm. So we show them a short video clip mm -hmm. and then they play Ko for a, for a short while. And then we take them to the library uh, mm -hmm. where we uh, spread out for them uh, picture books, uh, other encyclopedia on India, comics. Uh, they love the animation comics. Mm -hmm. um, and they can also get on to the video uh, and, and watch uh, some of the video clips in India. Mm -hmm. And then we have a small snack for them. Uh, they have some Indian samosas uh, and uh, then they go back. But we find this, uh, you know, the three hours that they spend with us uh, is a hugely beneficial contact for us because I think we are making direct contact uh, with these beautiful, wonderful children of Egypt. Actually, we have uh, some of the photographs of the painting competition on the screen and it was behind uh, us as well. Uh, and it's quite interesting because I see that also we've met with some uh, uh, children with special needs as well. So how, how was it the experience uh, dealing with special need uh, kids? What were, were uh, the reactions when they met you, Your Excellency? I see a picture of them with uh, uh, Her Excellency Mrs. Ranu on, uh, behind us. Yes, uh, uh, Ranu, my wife and I are particularly keen that uh, we should have all the children. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Ranu and I believe that uh, the so-called special needs children are simply special. Mm -hmm. uh, and the need is on our side to understand mm -hmm. them. Uh, we have always found uh, that uh, uh, these children are actually remarkably gifted. Mm -hmm. uh, their Im imagination is vivid. Uh, the kind of art that they make uh, is uh, enormous in terms of uh, you know, their ability to express themselves. I have seen, for instance, uh, blind students who have used Braille Mm -hmm. uh, to do a painting. And I've seen how this has evolved. I remember the mm -hmm. first year, three years ago, when we had this, uh, they were using a carbon paper mm -hmm. to color it. This year, many of them were using a color wash. So they had different colors on the same Braille painting. Uh, the second technique that some of these children have been using, and they come up with absolutely beautiful images, is they use um, plasticine, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like plastic clay mm. uh, of different colors. So they work with the teacher, they call out a color, and then the teacher hands them that colored plasticine, mm. and then they work out. And they do beautiful images of mountains, of animals, of birds, rivers. Uh, it is just magnificent. And the amount of love that we get from these children is something that um, Ranu and I truly cherish. Uh, we have them in our house, uh, at India House, every year, and it is, I would say, the most delightful day of the year for us. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about, um, because you were talking about also the culture in general and um, how you are giving uh, more information to the children about India in general, because we're talking about different aspects as we can understand. So how did they receive it, and how did they receive, for example, the um, Indian movies, the Bollywood, because usually th these movies, I'm just talking about both of them, uh, film festival and arts, because they are very much related, and the movies are very, very special. Usually in any other movie, you will find a movie about a romantic movie, um, a movie about revenge, action, but in an Indian Bollywood movie, you will find all in one movie, and this is something, you know, it's very unique. I didn't see it elsewhere. Yeah, I, I think the classic Bollywood movie is one in which um, you have the perfect combination of love and romance, of a little bit of action. Um, um, there will be a bit of mystery. Um, and the best thing is that uh, it all ends uh, very happily. Uh, 
on dancing uh, as well. If it well. doesn't end happily, it is not Bollywood. Uh, well, this is what they used to say. Uh, and I think that's a beautiful part of it because in many ways, uh, come to think of it, our lives are actually quite difficult, uh, quite stressful. Uh, and we have to adjust with so many things. So when you go into a Bollywood movie, you let yourself into this dream-like world which you would like to be in. And I think that's the most endearing quality about Bollywood because for three long hours, you are in where you want to be. And I know that a lot of Egyptian films of the past in particular mm -hmm. were exactly that. Uh, and uh, there was this great commonality between Indian and Egyptian films. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the people connect with that. What I've been also trying to do is to bring about a greater um, commercial and artistic connect uh, mm -hmm. between movie because I think we are so similar in many ways that we need to get together. Uh, and I'm very happy that, you know, uh, we are now seeing uh, Egyptian movies being shot in, in India. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a movie called uh, Love in Cairo, mm -hmm. which has an Egyptian star, uh, the actor, and the leading girl is from India. And it's being shot both in Egypt and, and in India. And uh, they went to uh, uh, Bombay some time back, and uh, I believe they have, they sent me back a message saying that they've just shot their first movie song in India. So I'm really looking forward to it because this should be very, very exciting. But we want more of this collaboration to happen. Uh, for mm -hmm. instance, when we have uh, the, um, the film festivals, this would be a perfect opportunity for bringing uh, the, the two film cultures together. Yes. Your Excellency, also uh, the Mulan Azad Cultural Center has been uh, busy with the, the round tables and especially celebrating India at 70. And I understand that the most recent one was uh, entitled Cultural Bonds in India-Egypt Relations. So do you tell us more about uh, the, the most recent round tables, please? We also feel that, uh, you know, uh, we have to engage with more people and bring in an element of discussion. Uh, we have found in India that uh, discussion often leads to a range of ideas. Mm -hmm. And then from within those ideas, policy makers, uh, the governments for mm -hmm. instance, mm -hmm. would be able to cull out and refine how to implement policies. Because at the end of the mm -hmm. day, uh, everything that we do is meant for the people mm -hmm. uh, of that country. So uh, the round table is one such exercise to have an exchange of ideas between India and Egypt. And in all cases, I've found that there is something that both sides have mm -hmm. to share about their experiences mm -hmm. and something which they both learn. Uh, we have a range of issues that we have done mm -hmm. this on. Uh, mm -hmm. The next one, for instance, is going to be on renewable, which is mm -hmm. going to be very early uh, next week, in fact. Uh, so it's going to be on renewable energy, something that both India and Egypt would like to have in greater measure. Uh, because it's a cost-effective measure, it responds to the, react the needs of climate change. Uh, we are going to have uh, a group of experts from Egypt and an Indian expert who is mm -hmm. coming in for this particular event. Uh, so through events like this, uh, we stimulate a dialogue process mm -hmm. between the two people. And I think that's what we need at the end of the day. Yes. And also about festivals. I mean, if we are talking about film festivals, do we have children film festivals as well? Yes. Uh, festivals, of course, are something that uh, we, we love to do in India. Uh, we have festivals like Holi and Diwali. In fact, we've just celebrated Diwali uh, and then the Shera just before that. Um, Indians love to enjoy themselves. They live with the nature around them. Uh, they live with the society, the family around them. And all that gives vent to this expression of happiness. Uh, we also love our friends and brothers and sisters in, in Egypt. And so that is why we bring our festivals across. Mm -hmm. The other important thing when we bring festivals across, uh, particularly to uh, a country like Egypt, is that we would wish to constantly update uh, what are the developments that have taken place. So it's not just what the classical tradition is. That's very important. But there's a lot of contemporary development. So as you know, the, our flagship event is the India by the Nile 
festival. We are deeply engaged in it uh, right now. Uh, and uh, it sounds very promising because we have blocked many of the stars and the shows. Uh, we are currently uh, in the process of blocking uh, space. Uh, so India by the Nile next year will be earlier. So it will be in March. Um, and we will have, I think, uh, if I'm not letting out a secret already, we are planning to do the first uh, major fashion show over here. And uh, we will have uh, the leading fashion designer of, of India uh, coming with his uh, creations. Uh, he's extremely well known and popular in, uh, in Europe and America, uh, but this will be his first time in Egypt. Uh, on the classical music front, we are hoping to get Amjad Ali Khan, um, who is the greatest. <coughs> he is a living legend. Uh, he plays an instrument called the sarod. Um, he is to sarod like Ravi Shankar is to sitar. Mm -hmm. So he is really uh, one of our greats. Um, but we'll also have a mix of various other things. So we will have contemporary music, which we will take out to uh, the youth to the universities. We've always engaged with them uh, and a variety of other things which are still in the making. Now the embassy and uh, the center uh, collaborate with a variety of entities including that of the Indira Gandhi National Center for the Arts. Now actually uh, Gandhi is very very of course he's popular all over the world. He's an important leader but in particular in Egypt there is this unique relation between Gandhi and Egypt. So would you tell us more about the cooperation with that center and uh, also about the celebration, the annual celebration of uh, Gandhi, please? Yeah. So uh, October is the month that Gandhi was born in. Uh, as you know, we have three national holidays. Uh, the birthday of Gandhi, who is the father of the nation, our Independence Day and our Republic Day. So Gandhi is really um, right there in the minds of all people in India. And in fact, many parts of the world as well, because the essence of Gandhi is something that transcends time and transcends boundaries. Mm -hmm. His message is eternal, because it's a message that is based on adherence to truth. Mm -hmm. And when you adhere to truth, you are nonviolent. When you're nonviolent, you have a culture and a belief in love. And I think that's what makes a society uh, prosper and evolve and be dynamic. So Gandhi for us is uh, very integral to our lives. Uh, this year we did uh, a number of events related to Gandhi. Uh, we had collaborated with the Egyptian uh, Caricature Society for an exhibition of uh, the caricatures of Gandhi. Uh, we had 72 contributions uh, from 24 different countries and we put them together in a, in a, in a book as we usually do. Mm -hmm. uh, and we called it the spirit of Gandhi because the spirit of Gandhi never dies. And um, uh, Farhad Goma, who is the head of the Caricature Society, had inaugurated that exhibition. We also held uh, 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 an online competition uh, on Gandhi uh, with uh, contributions from uh, very many, and we gave out the prizes. Uh, there were so many people who had all the answers correct that we had to have a lucky draw to win out, uh, to pick out the winners. And then a few days back, we did uh, a short skit on, on Gandhi, uh, which was done through um, how Gandhi's message is not relevant only for a particular religion, but it is a, a message which is for all humanity. Uh, we've put it out on the YouTube video of the embassy, so you can see it's a beautiful one in which people of different faith interpret Gandhi uh, but at the end of the day they find that they have actually discovered the same thing which is the message of love. Well I'd like to thank you very much. Thank you very much Your Excellency Ambassador Sanjay Patacharya, the Indian Ambassador to Egypt for this uh, delightful and important interview and hopefully th also we're very thankful for the Indian Film Festival and hopefully we will be attending it as well and covering it. Thank you very much for this interview, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. I invite you all to come and view the Indian Film Festival at the Hanagar Cinema starting tonight uh, and on till the 2nd. And then those of you who are in Alexandria can view it from the 5th uh, to the 11th 
of November at the Al Horea uh, Center. Thank you, Your Excellency. And now we will be going to a quick break, but we'll be back for more on breakfast shows. So stay with us. Thank you, Your Excellency. Yeah. Yeah.